Hello, that camera's on, so you know what that means. Welcome to the Funk Cafe. I'm your man, DJ Funk, and you know you're always welcome when that camera's on. If you look behind me, you see this wall. This wall of Millie Jackson. And the reason I got that wall of Millie Jackson is because when I was out crate digging, I ran into a young lady who I often run into at uh, some of the record stores I dig at. And we got to talking, and she asked me, do I uh, like any hip-hop? And I said, yes, I you know, the old school hip-hop and some of the new stuff, it all depends. She asked me, did I hear the new Nicki Minaj? I said, yeah, I sampled some of it. And uh, she sounds a lot more raunchier than usual. And she said, yeah, I agree. She said, and she asked me, did it offend it? And I said, no. I said, I said, let me tell you something. Little Kim, Carly B, Nikki, Megan Thee Stallion, they ain't doing nothing that us old schoolers don't know. So I told her about Millie Jackson, you know, in the 70s, the queen of raunchiness. And she never heard of Millie Jackson, so I told her about her and uh, introduced her to some of the records that they had in the store, used, of course, of Millie Jackson, picked out the ones I think she would enjoy. She bought them, and I'm gonna hook up with her uh, next week, and uh, we're gonna share thoughts on it. So uh, that's why you look behind me and you see this fabulous wall. Take another look at Miss Millie Jackson. Get these flowers while he's still here, I believe. So if Millie found her way to see this. There you go, Miss Millie Jackson. All for you, baby. All for you. Now, to get into some of the stuff that I found on a dig. I know if you saw my first uh, crate digging video, I showed some. And I was telling you about uh, cleaning the sleeve and some other stuff. But, you know, since then, I've been crate digging, so I got more stuff. But I want to show you some of the other stuff. Okay. Barbara Streisand, Memories, Great Out, you know, a I think, well, ain't no dollar bills no more, it's $2 and up, but this was $2, look at that cover, beautiful, Barbara Streisand, just look at that, look at that cover, record is just like the cover, Matt, you know this album very well, has memories, you don't bring me flowers. I mean, my heart belongs to me. New York state of mind. It goes on and on. You know, no more tears is not enough to do it with Donna Summer. This is just a great album. Uh, everything's on here. The way we were, y'all know it. Fantastic album. Two dollars. Of course, I snagged it. Another album, this is a promo. Johnny Mattis, Denise Williams, that with Friends are Four. Great duet album. Great duet album. Can't go wrong with that. Excellent. Next, the best of Johnny Taylor. Oh, yeah. Shake it up, shake it down. Move it in, move it out. Disco Lady. Disco Lady's on here. Somebody's getting it. <laughs> yes, pick up the pieces. Ooh, wee, she's killing me. Disco 9000. That was a nice black exploitation movie where he actually had a cameo in it. Uh, playing something pretty. I got this thing for your love. I mean, it's just all great, great. Johnny Teller hits, and look at that. Man, $3. Jimmy Owens, heading home. I think I might have showed this before, but here's another copy in mint condition, $2. Jimmy Owens, trumpeter, jazz, uh, funk, fusion, light. Excellent, can't go wrong. Central Line. This is like a British R&B uh, band. This came out in 1981. The biggest hit was uh, Walking Into the Sunshine. 
Sunshine. So who probably know it probably say, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Whew. This is a woman that's gone too, so many Riverton. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, a romance fantasy set to music. This is a fantastic album. Young, willing, and able. Could it be I'm in love? Uh, can you feel what I'm saying? I mean, just the uh, uh, stick together. I mean, just uh, uh, stay in love. How could I love you more? I mean, just fantastic songs. And if anybody know, I mean, before you heard Mariah Carey doing that high pitch, it was here first. It was here first. That high outfit. Many wrote it. You know, just just the great, great album. Yes. Now, this is a 80s group. And actually, I was stunned when I actually found both these records. Crystal. And this is an 80s uh, girls band. You know, back out with TLC, Climax, all that was going on. And uh, this is one of the less known girl bands. They really didn't like have um, that that lead voice, you know, like that standout voice. And I think that's what kind of hurt them too. Like you had TLC, the t box with that raspy voice. You had Left Eye with the high pitched squeaky mouse voice and Chili was just in the middle. Uh, you know, he had a skate, you know, the all the sang, and you had Kim Burrow with that deep voice. I mean, uh, SWV, all those girls could sing. Jay, you know, so if I had to say as far as weak vocals of a girl group, it might have been them, but it's still a joyable listen. So this album came out in 85, so I think oh, well, it's called uh, Talk of the Time. Then, a little more digging, picked up their latest uh, album in, in the 80s. This was done in uh, 89, and this is called I Suggest You Don't Let Go. You know, and he both were step, you know, promo. And I think this, yeah, that was too, up there in the corner, up there, the Golden Stamp. So, I listened to both of them, and I enjoyed them. You know, 80s girl group, if you're into that, you'll, you'll like them, you'll like them. But, you know, I was just saying the reason why I think they didn't break through like the other groups I named is because the vocals. But if you notice, here in the first album, it's four. By the, the second album, it's only three. And by looking at the cover, she's not, she's not there. So, I don't know what that was about, but, you know. But I will say, um, this, it looked like they listened to, because this was done in 89, so it looked like they might have listened to some Vanity Apollonia 6 and some Climax, because this got that feel of Climax and Vanity 6 and Apollonia 6 sound. A lot different from uh, this. So then it's three, so maybe uh, uh, that Apollonia Vanity was what they were going for sound because I do hear elements of that in it and I hear some climax in it too. Chapter eight, great R&B group in the 80s. And if you look real close, I'm gonna come into the camera here, right here. In the middle, the lady in white, that's Anita Baker. Yes, Anita Baker, who uh, sung with Chapter 8 before she went on and had a stellar solo career. Yes, Chapter 8. And this was done in 79. This is an R&B funk band called Zoom. 
And this is called Saturday, Saturday Night. Found this $3 funky ass hell. Funky as hell. You know, it was just so many bands that came out that you really couldn't keep up with them. And if they didn't break that plane to even get big radio play or that kind of status that so many other funk bands was getting, they just had records that, you know, never really got seen or touched. But hey, glad I found this. And uh, the record is fantastic. And this is some funky, funky stuff. Zoom. Saturday, Saturday night. And this was done in 81. So this is some 80s funk. Not 70s, some 80s funk. And it is funk. Can't believe I found this in a while. Really can. I mean, Diddy Bridgewater, just family. This is a crazy, crazy, badass R&B album. Diddy Bridgewater, just family. There she is, carrying child on the front. And I mean, this was produced by Stanley Clark. And, and Chick Corea played on here. George Dukes played on here. Harvey Mason played on here. I mean, this is an outstanding album. Can't believe three bucks. It had to come home with me. This probably makes my third, if not fourth copy of this. I'm not going to leave it for the guitar up. Excellent, excellent album. And it's on uh, Electra as well. I, that was exciting. Here's another one. This is Gold Stamp promo. Commodores, Midnight Magic. Look at that cup. You don't, you don't leave that in a while. And I tell you what, this was a dollar. You know, I wasn't gonna leave it. This was a dollar. And you see, promo copy up there. I mean, it has, uh, you know, getting it, Midnight Magic, Your Special, Steel, was the, one of the hits on here, uh, Sell On, another one, then you got uh, Wonderland, stuff like that, but look at that, look at that cover, clean, record, clean, Commodore, Midnight Magic. Now, the crate digging picks, I have a lot of more, a lot of more, but, uh, if you're familiar with Rocky, Mr. T, you know, when he was boxing, he had a lot more. But, uh, hey, I know this is a little different. I'm standing up. and But like I said, I've been kind of digging around in the cafe all day, cleaning and just having fun. So I just thought I'd hop on and show some of the stuff I cleaned the sleeve. And I've been playing it, and it's excellent. So, hey, the camera popped on. You're welcome. And when it pops on again, you're welcome. Thanks for watching. I'm your man DJ Funk, and you know what I'm about to say. I'm out.